Cheer here. New Love Life songs are coming out quick this month, and I'm barely catching up here. This week we had Cerise Bouquet and Orchestra drop previews for their collaboration single, as the fan base is calling it. If you want to know my honest opinion, I have no idea what that means, and I found it weird that right after Hasuno Sora dropped their debut songs, Cerise Bouquet and Orchestra dropped new songs immediately, but not Miracle Park. What's the plan for Miracle Park? I know, I was just as confused. Anyway, I don't want to hold you guys up for too long. Let's get started. Reflection in the mirror. Man, their voices are like honey, sweet, and pure innocence. I completely imagine this song being the opening to Sugar Apple Fairy Tale Season 2. That's how good this song is in terms of concept. It's so flowery, like Bokeh's name. I wish we could have more songs similar to this one in the future. Fortune Movie! Mixture between an Azuna track and a Kanon solo. Very catchy, but really? You're gonna give this subunit a song that doesn't really suit them here? I mean, the girls are not bad at all, but it just kinda doesn't make sense. Mix shake! Hey, shake, yeah, shake, 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 shake. I'm gonna sound like a hypocrite, but they couldn't give this song to Miracle Park? You know, the group that doesn't have more songs coming out yet? My brain hurts from the decisions being made here. Sparkly spot. Ooh, that piano hits the absolute spot. Normally, I would have gone for some high notes for an instrumental like this, but I like their deep tones. It brings out the jazziness of the track a lot more. I can't wait for the full thing of this, because I know I'm gonna be jamming out. Okay, if Dalkestra is going to be the city pop love life group, I will fully accept that as long as they are the only group to get the concept. If Lantis gives a city pop concept to Shiki, that's completely fine because she could pull it off. But give it to someone else? And I'm going to have to pass. Admittedly, the weakest song of the subunit so far, but that doesn't make it bad. I kind of feel that this should have been a Rico solo or an Azalea single and be done with it. Okay, maybe before I piss some love life people off, why do I make comments such as, this is an Aqua song, this is a Kanon solo? This should go to another group. Because in my last video, I said that one of Layla's new songs sounded like a Muse callback. And I still stand by that. I accepted it for Layla because it's pretty much common knowledge that Muse isn't promoting anymore. Not exactly disbanded due to some of the members having health issues or wanting to pursue solo careers. Muse is pretty much not going to make music as we know it now. A song for you, you, you is practically their goodbye anthem. That means any concepts that Muse had. No, I don't think Lantis is going to make a new group to straight up rip Muse. But anything that made Muse unique will stay. Anything they did well is allowed to be given to someone else. Like, no other group is going to copycat Start Dash or Bokuru no Life, Kimito Life. That's not gonna happen. I just find it strange that some songs that obviously sound like they belong to an active group are being given to different groups. Yeah, it does shake things up, which I don't mind, but as long as the song still sounds like the group brand that it's promoting. Aquas has the sea ocean concept, so anything that sounds like a sparkly beach party should go to them. Nijigasaki is the rainbow group, so personally, anything that sounds like songs made for children should go to them. Layla has a kind of evolved concept from Muse, except that it has more of a rock edge. Hasuno Sora is a strange situation because they are still new and they haven't exactly established what their concept was yet, but if their debut song has anything to prove, maybe they should have the dreamy concept also based on their color palette. Then you dive into the subunits, which makes the concepts even more confusing because how do you make a concept within a concept of a main group? I think Aqua's subunits do this perfectly. 
Shauron pretty much is the festival part of the seaside concept. Azalea is basically the techie, elegant side of the concept, while Guilty Kiss is the dark, experimental side of it. Nijigasaki subunits also work well with the rainbow concept of their group. Asuna's concept is obviously pretty much theme parks, which makes Ayumu, Setsuna, and Shizuku's colors pop out in circus tones. Quartz is the acapella lullaby part with the softer colors from the girls. Diver Diva makes obvious club music that matches the electric colors of Karin and I. Then with Rebirth, it's very clear that they're the experimental ones because their songs basically range from all kinds of what I like to call K-pop inspired concepts, even though literally none of the members are Korean in character canon. I swear, one of these days, Love Live will release a new group that's just basically K-pop with half Japanese, half Korean members. If I'm wrong, I beg your pardon. Making an entire new concept that's strictly for a group is difficult because you try so hard not to sound too niche while at the same time trying not to copy someone else. Trust me, copycats do exist for the sole purpose of clout chasing, and I honestly feel bad for the members who have to deal with that and not the companies who volunteer in the ripping off. To my understanding, I think Cherise, Bouquet, and Orchestra do have some inner dream concepts going on in their own unique ways. I believe that based on what Bouquet has going for them, that they should have songs that reflect the gardenness of Hazuno Sora. Sui Sai, Sekai, and Reflection in the Mirror are perfect examples of this. They kind of sound Madoka Magica-ish, but I think we already established that Hasuno Sora kinda has that fantasy dream concept going on. Even if Bouquet strayed to the darker side of the Madoka Magica vibe, I think that could also work, just like how Asuna has Maze Town for their dark theme park side. Then for Dalkestra, they incorporate a bunch of instrumental in their city pop jazz vibes, which I think makes them stand out the most. Awoke, Sparkly Spot, and Suki Makase make them shine as a subunit the most. If we could get more songs from the subunit like this, I would be satisfied. Then there's Miracle Park. Oh dear. I only have one song to go off of for who they're supposed to be, but if you want me to be quite frank with you, Doo 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 is just not a good song for them. The last time I checked, Rita Tenoji is the only Love Live girl who should be having any retro techno concepts for her songs. However, after listening to Do 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 again, there are parts of it that make my ears twitch. There are some parts of the song that remind me of the school rumble opening, which is classic Y2K J-pop, if you ask me. <laughs> had trumpets instead of those weird 90s retro tweaks, that Miracle Park could pull off the Y2K in the modern day concept better than what the heck New Jeans is doing. This is no hate to New Jeans, by the way. Then you get one of the girls singing in front of a very nice jazz piano, and that gave me a ray of hope for just one split second. <laughs> said earlier that Cerise Bouquet's mix shake should go to Miracle Park, I can imagine the girls pulling off those nice voices in front of that guitar riff. Even if one of the girls sounds like Nico Yazawa, I honestly would have preferred that outcome instead of the timeline that we have currently. So yeah, that pretty much covers my thought process. I hope I didn't make you guys too angry. If you guys liked my video, hit the button and share your thoughts down in the comments. Don't forget to follow and subscribe. I'm Kate Sheeran, it's been real. Ciao!